Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for stopping by. So I went to TJ Hughes amongst other places today. I think I'm just going to do a TJ Hughes haul in this video because I got quite a few bits and pieces. I just recently showed you this beauty hero set that I picked up from Boots. I shouldn't have really been on sale in my opinion but I'm glad it was because um, I got a few nice bits there. So let's show you what I got from, I think I'll do TJ Hughes and TK Maxx. So I've got the light on so it might not be that great. So I got this, I managed to find some CoverGirl products and I can never find CoverGirl products for love no money in the UK. So this one, and please let me know if you've tried them if you live in the US or anywhere else in the world that you can get CoverGirl. So I've got the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Skin Blurring Serum. Oh, so it's a serum. I didn't realise it was a serum. I thought it was a primer. It says, create a soft focus effect for a flawless finish. Blurs imperfections, reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and skin looks more youthful. Wear under makeup as a perfect base or wear alone for a complexion that looks perfect. Let's open it. It was £2.50 and that's where I got it. Um, it does just look like a primer though, doesn't it? It doesn't look like a serum. Oh, it feels like a moisturiser. Let's put some on the hand. Oh, it feels nice. Oh, and um, yeah. Oh, it smells so good too. It literally, legitly, literally, legitly, it literally smells like, I think, um, Olay. Do you know the cream, Olay? It smells like a moisturiser, so I'm really, really happy to have picked that one up. Um, I don't need the box. Right, I managed to get free cover girl lipsticks and I am so so happy I didn't need any any lipsticks and they're all mattes so this one is this one not my shade so this one is the cover girl outlast ultimate apparently it's supposed to last up to 24 hours and then this one is in Bella Bellini I feel like I've heard a youtuber talk about this I don't know if it's Sarah Rose I'm sure she uses a blusher called Bella Bellini so it could be just me getting mistaken for the blusher but that is the most beautiful orange toned red. I don't really want to swatch them because they'll be difficult to get off but that's it on the one there. You'll see it very very soon no doubt because so my shade. And then I found like a more autumnal one which is I would say is like a ready brown and this one is called Sprit Splits yes yeah, definitely a ready brown perfect for fall and then I found a more neutral one um, this one is called Prosecco Pop like Jaclyn Hills highlighter the less said about that the better um, and I would say that's quite brown in tone as well I think this is going to be my least favourite the red one will be my most favourite obviously that's the kind of lipstick that I really really like to wear you know I you, you know I love my orange red so that's that I don't know if this is my shade at all collection I've never even seen this in boots so it's the collection sicker foundation um, it's soothing and it lasts up to 12 hours my shade is porcelain too. At first I got a different one. It was like two shades darker than this. I don't think it was ivory. It was it was just darker and I'm like that's that's just not gonna be my shade. Um let's see if we can open it. I don't know if this is gonna be my shade, but it was either one either one pound fifty or two pound. Like for all these products, I think I paid about eight pounds. The ones that I got from TJ Hughes. And then I found a dupe for a palette in TK Maxx and I just had to get it. Because I've been having, like, I've been looking on Beauty Bay. And I've really, really been looking at it and I really, really want it. So, obviously, I'm, I've found a dupe palette of it now. And if I get good use out of it, I will splurge 
um, you'll see you'll see what it's a dupe for in a second yeah so it's in the shade porcelain too um, what does it say on the back satin finish foundation infused with antioxidant rich centella lightweight hydrating and soothing while providing coverage to areas of concern and redness on the skin while providing coverage to areas of concern and redness on the skin for up to 12 hours shake well before use so i think this covers blemishes and i've got one going on here it's not even a blemish it's a whole different other country um like here i never get blemishes like this on my face so i can tell one i'm either run down i'm very very stressed at the moment i've just got so much going on in this tiny little head of mine um but yeah i mean i don't like it i don't like it at all anyway um let's see if this is going to be good for my for my skin yeah i think so right where shall we put it no um we'll put it here on the hand um does it rub in yeah it rubs in it's porcelain too. I couldn't see porcelain one. Or the equivalent to a lighter shade than that. That smells really nice too. Um, but you can see just how light it is in the tube, can't you? Right, and then the last thing. You are going to flip out, guys. I didn't even know this had been released. Let me know when it was released. Because I didn't know it had been released. Um, what does this remind you of? So it's the W7 Moonglade Eyeshadow Palette. If you know, you know. It reminds me of the ABH Cosmos Palette. That's what it looks like. And I've been eyeing that off on Beauty Bay and it's over £40 and it's like, hmm. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I could get it, but then I'm saving my money up to get the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. That palette has my heart. It really, really does. I've just ordered as well the Beauty Bay Neutrals palette, um, the medium sized one with 16 eyeshadows in it, mattes and shimmers, um, because I'm really, really into, as you can see by the look that I've created today, I'm really, really into neutral eye looks and I've been using the Colourpop Going Coconuts. I I went through my entire eyeshadow palette collection and could only find two palettes that could be similar. So then what I did is I went to YouTube and looked at the swatches, looked at my swatches from the Going Coconuts and the Kylie Reindeer palette that she brought out last year for Christmas and they were nothing alike. So I just ordered it. It was on sale um, this past bank holiday for £13 and normally, and that's with shipping guys, normally it would have been 18 so i saved myself five pound there so i just thought instead of me trying to dupe it you know what i'm like i love duping palettes if i can within my own collection but i don't have enough neutrals to dupe that palette anyway um so yeah i decided to just bite the bullet and buy it um but yeah this palette looks absolutely beautiful even the packaging looks the same or similar obviously it's w7 um, but that's what that looks like. So this came from TK Maxx and it was £4.99. Um, and then shall we do... What else have I got in here? Let me show you this as well. Because I got this um, 17 blush. And I'm not too sure whether I've got it now, you know. I know I'm sure that I've got one. Let me go and check. I must not have picked one up. I was looking at getting one a while ago. I got this one because it's kind of that fall vibes blusher and I don't really have too many fall vibes blush. I'm trying to get more into my collection and it was only £2.50 with a Boots Advantage card. So it looks like that. It's very, very red toned. It's in the shade 030 Plum Blossom. I'm gonna... Oh, it's so smooth. You can get like a, a really nice peachy shade. I think I'm going to have to swatch it a couple of times for you. And it's kind of dewy, which is nice. I really, really don't like a completely matte blush. Ignore this swatch here. It's a lipstick that I swatched earlier. But that's it there. Can you see how dewy it is or not? Probably not. 
um, it's not the greatest time for me to be filming but I want to get these videos up as soon as I can and then I want to do a movie review for you guys I know movie reviews aren't everyone's cup of tea but I just enjoy watching movies and I know other people do too so I want to kind of like put different things on the channel going forward so that's that and then it's just a Primark haul just three things I think and um, yeah I'll show that in the next video thank you so much for watching guys I really do appreciate it please don't forget to like it really does help get my small channel out there share and comment and I'll see you in my next one bye guys Big. 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 Big.